the Soulsian experience truly has begun once has begun anew again. Oh, some more Dark Souls. I'm excited. I'm excited to whilst playing the game. Okay. Uh. There we go. Beautiful. Actually, while I'm here, let's check to see if the new notification system worked. I'm going to assume it did. And it did. Beautiful. Alright, cool. Let's roll. So, let's roll. Uh, we were over here earlier. Oh yeah, we want to get that bonfire that we saw when we invaded someone. I might be getting in, never mind. We're not gonna invade it. So, uh, let's see. There is a bonfire just down there. Excuse me, sir. Please stop. But okay. There he is. My guy's buffing. He's teleporting. He's almost killed me. Ow. Okay, rude. I'm not very good at uh, navigating this area, it would seem. Let's, uh... Honestly, what I'm gonna do is... I can survive this. I'm just gonna grab this bonfire that's over here that I may or may not already have. <laughs> uh oh. We're okay. If this was Bloodborne, we would have destroyed that by just rolling. Just a Bloodborne, a game that runs at one frame a second because there's so many boxes around. That game is great though. Uh. What are we... Oh yeah, let's, let's... Let's do our... Let's kindle this. Let's kindle this flame real quick. Beautiful. Now we have this bonfire. We can throw on the invasions for fun. It's not going to be very productive if we want to actually get out of this terrible zone. I'll try to do like one invasion if I find someone. Otherwise, I, I just want to rush through this area and invade people other places because this area is not great. <laughs> because every, I keep being spawned so far away from everyone that if they're not standing at this bonfire right here, it's real rough trying to find them. All right, dookie boy. What do you have in store for me? Oh, we're invading. Cool. We'll, we'll do one one for the fans. Shout out to this floating book. We're going to do one invasion for the fans, and then we're going to continue on. Now. <laughs> okay. The, the odds of them being, like, at the bottom there are decent, where the bonfire is. The problem being now, I'm, I'm, up, I'm up here, right? You see where I'm, I spawned? Now they're summoning someone. They must be down there. Did I see them? I'm going to assume they are down there. The problem is now I'm, I'm way up here. And we can, uh, we can also move this staircase around back and forth. Okay, I might be approaching them. I heard a slash. I did hear an attack. Okay. I need to get to this area in my own game. This giant zone. All right, let's let's take note. So from bonfire, although this door is a shortcut, I would assume that's probably not open by default. We need to go there. Nope. No one's here. Now I know we sp we're supposed to spawn in their world. Um close to where they are.
but that's never really helped that much in this particular area. We'd be lucky if they were down there, but of course they're not, so we have to try to our best to explore. I'm going to assume that we want to go back up here. Yeah, this is a shortcut. Okay. And then this is a this is a shortcut. It could be outside here. Okay, this guy just died when I walked over here or re-died or whatever he did. Oops. Wonder if they're outside here. They killed the looks like they killed the DLC crystal. Yeah, it's hi. Um Honestly, I I finding them is going to be like impossible. It's going to be so hard cuz it's like I have this entire zone which I don't think they're over here. They're probably in the library somewhere, and they could literally just be hiding if they want to. Uh, yeah, there's a boy right here. I don't think they went down this far. The crystal. Wahoo! Yeah, that's fine with me. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna focus on trying to get through this area before I PvP people. Because I don't really like this zone. It's too- there's too many, like, staircases and stuff where they could possibly be. Oh wait, do I have to go where I died in their game? Or where- no, I think I just go back to where I died while I was in mine, yeah. Okay, there it is. There we go. Let's- let's just, uh... Let's just progress. Let's just try our best to get through the Duke's archives, and then we can, uh... PvP probably will be a lot more interesting in the, um, what's it called, so the Gravelord Nido area, like the crypt. Or at least let's get some shortcuts to better understand the map a bit more. And you know, the, the thing that's crazy is like, they could literally be here they could be above me they could be above me there they could be above me on either side they could be outside they could be down in the crystal area they, they could just be in any of these zones and it's like okay now check it, all of them and they could be moving around and they're, they're probably gonna if if they're a nice they're gonna be moving around um to continue the level they're mean, they're just gonna sit there and then, like, wait for you to leave. Which, I'm not a fan of leaving if I don't have to. But in this particular area, it's not all that fun to watch. I, I appear to be getting a phone call, which I will answer in a second. Alright, hopefully I don't die. Be right back. myself dying but I had to take a phone call that sucks <laughs> I just like stood on the stairs and heard myself getting hit that's okay I would like to go back into human form just so, so we have the uh the thrill of maybe getting invaded but at the same time well we'll do it when i get to a bonfire because i don't want to walk over to the oh i do not want to walk over to the bonfire at the current second 
The faster I get done with this area, the better. Because it is rough. I should have known this dude was up here. I didn't think he was going to aggro me. Okay, well, he's dead. Let's, uh, let's go up the stairs. Can I roll through that? There we go. So let's do one set up the stairs. We'll check this side. And we'll see if there is any progression that we can make. There's a chest here, nice. A sorcery that I don't need, but still appreciate it, I guess. Uh, what can I, where can I go from this turning this? Does this lead anywhere? Okay, it leads to this other side, which is higher up. Ow. Is there anything over here? No. So this area, right? I do remember being pretty confusing. I don't think it is like the worst thing in the entire world if you like just keep going in a one direction. But it's not ideal and it's, it is definitely not a good place to invade people with all these spinning stairs and all that. Too much, there's too many places for people to hide. There's nothing over there. So I can jump down to this set of stairs over here. And then there's this downstairs area that I'm pretty sure that I've went through. So here's this area. Is there a chest over here or anything? No. So there's nothing over here. Hiya. I will. I need to like permanently map Duke Arcs, Duke's archives into my mind for any future playthroughs, so I don't have to think about it. Why are there so many like? There's so many areas that you can access from these uh, stairs, but like nothing. Like there's like nothing you've placed there. Okay, so we just went all the way upstairs on that side. Let's rotate this. Which will allow us to go upstairs on this side and or downstairs on that side. So here's the upstairs here. We already killed the stuff there. We already did this part. So what if we go downstairs over here? Anything down here? Okay, there's a chest. Twinkling Titanite, I mean, that's okay. Is there... I don't think there's anything over there. Let's jump off midway. Oh, I tried to land on the stairs, but I died. That's sad. Tried to land right on those little stairs, but I barely missed them. Uh, I don't know where that was. I'm going to assume... I mean, I, I kind of want to get to the floor. And look around. Because it doesn't appear that useful things are above all that much. There's no, all right, so there's no like connecting room here. There, we know there is a door over there, which we need to open from the other side, which acts as a shortcut. Yeah, we, this is a shortcut, but we need to open it from the other side. So how do we get over there is the question. The answer probably involves jumping off the stairs, maybe like I was doing. Okay, that's a whole ordeal over here. We don't need to focus on this. There's, I think there's an outside bit up on one of these. Maybe the next up, up 
one floor there was like an outside part I think I uh Okay wait this leads down to where I was trying to go This is this is the downstairs area Okay hit you Let's just kill these archers so they don't bother me Okay, this seems reasonable. Uh, is this where I died? Oh no. Wait, this is the- I think this is the, uh, this is the entrance. Yeah, this is where I came in. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean there's nothing down here, but this is this is where I went in from So that's not right. It's probably not right uh, Then there's this upper zone. I think I have to jump down From here Into like this zone Wait, that's this is again still the uh the entrance, the entrance hall. All right, so we're in the entrance hall area. Is that? Is this not where I jumped down? Oh, there it is. For some reason, it went here. Fair enough. I'm starting to think that none of these areas actually matter. And that I need to go to the outside area on the top here. Ow. There's one of the enchanter guys. There is an outside area. Ow. That I was looking at at one point. Hmm. Okay, so... Despite it being annoying, uh, we have at least established the areas that it isn't. <laughs> if you know, like, you know. We've established the areas that it is not. There's the outside area. That must be where I need to go. Okay. That has to be where I need to go. And that's where I was looking at earlier. But I'm glad we looked around these interior rooms. Like... This has to be... Yeah, this this has to be the way. I'm hoping. Okay. All right, um, let's see. I mean, it was funny is like, I, I had started the stream like being like, oh, I'll go this way. But I was confused and corrupted by the, uh, the alternative pathways. Let's go. Wait, no. Because this is the, <laughs> this is the area you come in from, from the prison a okay. Well, this is interesting. Because this is like the pri prison room. One second. Let's, let's, let's look at this nonsense so we don't have to like deal with this. Hmm. Huh. Uh, I'm just wondering. Uh, 
All right, bonfire. Lever. All right, let's try this again. I think we might be have to go back to the entrance or something. There's an area. That's where the one of the bonfires is. It's the inside here of the building. Inside of the building, and then there's a down area. Okay, what about over there? Is that is that like a continued pathway over there? Like, what about this right here? Is this something? Alright, wow, okay, this is something. This, oh wait, this is where, okay. I know I was here a second ago. I was literally in here because I was, uh, okay, this is where I need to go. I was literally in here for the invasion. And I couldn't remember four seconds ahead. But uh, we figured it, we figured it out. Now we can become a human again. Okay, phew. That was, uh, that was rough. But it's okay. Now we can move on to continuing this zone. Are you a mimic? Man, there's a whole lot of not mimics. Oh, it's the Chandler. It's the channeling outfit. That's that's a fun fit. One of these has to be. This is a mimic right here. And this one's not. Giant tower or... Yeah, okay. Oh, that big open cell. I wonder what's in there. Probably something I don't need. But I know where the area is. Well, let's just hit this guy. Yeah, there you go. Give me the symbol of avarice, please. Nope. Rip. That face with no symbol of avarice. Feels bad, man. All things considered, this, this area is pretty cool. Little cogs and everything. Prism stones. Classic. I think they give you prism stones here to like keep track of. I think you have to like walk off of invisible stuff or something. You have to do something weird. Alright, where are you, Goldie? I need to find the golden gall. The golden golem who is not here. I don't remember what you need to do to make them spawn if you have to do something. They were in someone else's world when I was there. Okay, they're, we gotta start mining diamonds now. Mine diamonds. I'll mine them. Here we go. Let's mine diamonds. These guys are all, a really cool design. <laughs> Diamond equals mined. Blue Titanite. Lots of blue Titanite. Weakness fatty. Alright, uh, there's... Uh, why would I fight those three? Now, there is supposed to be a golden one, which I don't remember what you need to do to make it spawn. Because I just assumed it would be here because it was in someone else's world when I invade it. But that is not the case, apparently. So, uh, we have to figure that out. Okay, well that is one technique of mining. What if we hit him with the fat mine? 
That's a little bit riskier, but I think that would two shot them. But we three shotting them with a safer method, I think, is probably the way I want to go. Check this area out over here. Look at this. Look at this sus area, as the kids say nowadays. This area is hella sus. Alright, this area is. Just both these trees are kind of sus. Is there anything over here? Oh, hi. Whack. I just gotta hit you one more time. Now we're safe. We're safer than we were, I guess, I should say. Yeah, mind him to death. Now, this is where I need to be going, I believe, but it's very slippery and very spooky. So I don't want to slide off, because I slid off that diamond earlier and it was really sad. Oh no, I'm actually at le like I'm at eye level where he can actually hit me instead of hit above me. Now, I I believe there is a part and I guess we'll we'll be able to see a uh we'll be able to see someone putting down like an orange soapstone where it's like I think you have to walk over invisible platforms. Okay, well there's snow apparently falling on that. Maybe that's the show that there's platforms that we can walk on. I don't want to. It's not worth the item is over there is not worth it to me. But look, there's clearly a. Mm, okay, there we go. Shadows to invisible platforms. What a Dark Souls one thing to do. At least there's a giant in the remaster here. I don't remember if that was in the original. There's like a gigantic like snow falling directly on it to show you that you can walk there and there's a bunch of people writing okay yeah is that moon is it just moonlight butterfly is it just a second moonlight butterfly chilling on a cliff well i can't hit you with my, without range basically and i don't care enough to engage a fight with you this nonsense. Oh, there's the gold guy. Hidden path ahead. It's the main path, but yes. Okay, you're you're a lot scarier. On this manco greased sticky log. Who I guess mining gold is a little bit harder than mining diamonds in uh Minecraft. Because gold's actually... Oh, okay. Gold's kind of rare. Is this a path I can go? It is. It was just, what the hell? Why did they do that? Why did they design it like that? To be as terrifying as possible. That's also a path, apparently. Maybe that's an alternate path you could go around. So you don't have to fight the golem. Here's another Moonlight Butterfly equivalent that I really should not attack. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to attack it. There's no reason for me to attack it. This area is wacky. Uh, huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh my, it's... Yep. It's, it's way scarier without messages everywhere. Oh boy. Nah, this zone straight up... This zone straight up bad. It's just not... It's just not it. it this reminds me of like every zone in Dark Souls 2. Which is funny. It's just like... It's, it's kind of cool. But the, uh, the zero, the no, um, the whole no floor gimmick is very annoying. 
And I think they made it easier in this game. I don't I don't remember if there was any visual tell basically in the original. I, there must have been because otherwise how are you supposed to like even begin to know that you can go on the uh, invisible platforms, you know what I mean? So I'm sure there was something. We'll just let him have his fun. Just climbing down the crystals. Now I believe, so I'm, I guess you'd never have to encounter Sif. I, I, I am kind of remembering now that he has the whole like, you encounter him the first time and just die because you um you encounter him and uh, you can't do anything in that room. You, have, you can just homer bone out or something. That did catch me off guard on replay because I wasn't expecting it. Can I go this way? Why is there like fake out paths? Okay, I can walk here. That's safe unless there's a gap. I thought it was just falling. Why are there, why are there fully invisible platforms here? Like, is it that they're so crystal clear? That they're like full on invisible. Like actual like j what is the okay and it's slippery. <laughs> what is the lore? Why are they slippery? Why was this area designed? Who who thought this was a good idea? This is like this is just silly. But we're gonna get to like see, uh, sit the scale is. We're gonna kill him in like three hits, and then we're gonna be like, wow. So the real the real challenge all along was the invisible platforms we had to cross along the way. Actually, the invisible platforms are as terrible as they are. The slipperiness is way worse, where you just slide off. Well, let's get there. I think this would be a way easier if I like actually knew where I was going properly if I like remembered the optimal pathway to take Because by not knowing exactly where I'm going jump. I'm just sliding slip sliding around Okay That's that area very slippery over here Very very slippery over here indeed There is another pathway over here They give you I guess they give you prism stones to put down here like I was saying So you know where you're going Weakness path here's a path Okay, now hopefully I don't just slide off the side of this and instantly die. Now this was the way I didn't want to go. This is like the way that I, I dropped down from before. I'm just dead. <laughs> So I think, I don't know how, I, the, f the first time I went there, I went the right way, I think. Because I don't think that is the correct way. Also, that is just really, like, that that particular area is really stupid. Because if you roll either on either side, you will just immediately slide off. Or, like, that, that the sides of that crystal just instantly are, just kill you. And, like, that's just lame. Let's continue. 
Not today. Mining away. This is our, this is the ultimate challenge. This is the diamond challenge. Now, wait, did we go over here and see anything? No. Boy, do you, no, we, because what we did was we went over there, we got the item, we went all the way around, we dropped down. We walked along the pathway that was labeled by a million people down, which is down there. Yeah, we saw the butterfly. We're like, oh, there's a butterfly over there. And then we walked across this pathway because a million people had labeled it. So we definitely went across here. From here. Okay, from here we went to the left and there's more, another platform. I'm going to try to get my stuff back. We're just gonna walk straight and hopefully that's okay. Walk straight back up. Walk over here. Avoid falling off. Thankfully some other player Okay, there's a path down there too. I think this might be the path. Yep. Or wait, was this the path and then... I think, is this just a dead end right here? I think this is just a dead end. It says here, or do I have to jump down? Okay, there's more. There's more over here. Okay. There's more over here. <laughs> Is there anything else? Over here. Up here. Uh, it would be very useful if they would give me more than that. Over there? Because I, I kept walking over here and I just fell off and died. Okay. Okay, there's one over here. I assume that has to be where I need to go. Alright, I, I for even for my own sanity, I need to put a uh, a soap sign down. This may help someone. There we go. That was rough. Did we make it? Okay, there's some clams over here. Some clammy boys. Interesting. Do they have like eyeballs or like skulls in there? Are those skulls? Oh boy. And the clam hits and does quadrillion health. Yikes. Alright, I can deal with one at a time. So a second one has been summoned. Okay, uh, there's too many of them to like be reasonable with. There's one over there. He might, that one probably has like an item or something. I feel like one of these guys has like an Estus thing in it. Oh, here's the, here's the fight. 
I hope they don't follow me into the fight. Can he, uh... Does Seth see or whatever? Does he curse? It looks like he does. Oh, big ouch. Uh, and they did follow me into the fight. Oh, no. I don't remember this boss fight at all, apparently. Oh, no, no, no. I, okay, I got cursed. I need, like, the curse bite ring, don't I? Or something. Oh god, I genuinely don't remember this game past that point. Well, now I gotta go get a curse. Now I gotta go get a anti-curse thing. Which I can get at, uh, I think I can go- There's a few people who sell them, but I can go get one at, um... Undead Parish. I'm gonna have to walk all the way back here. I don't, like, uh, I just have flashes in my mind of this game. I have flashes of, like, playing this game, remembering things, like, that you die to see, see, and all those weird, funny moments, but I don't remember them fully, and Curse Bite Ring, do I need Curse Bite Ring? I probably have to buy it. Maybe there's a way to stop the curse stuff. Oh, well, I made a mistake and went in here by accident. So let's, uh, while we're doing that, let's look up something. Let's figure this out. And back up the elevator. Left side of his tail to attack. Okay, that, that's it. The left side of his tail. Okay, so the, yeah, there's some weird... There's some weird Dark Souls oddity stuff that I didn't remember. So I think if I go behind his tail to the left side or something, you can never get cursed or something like that. It's one of those weird things where everyone in this game, you want to like hug their ass and you'll be okay. Okay, guys. The problem, uh, the big problem being I can't really like attempt that fight again and die. If I die, it'll be bad. If I can't afford to buy more than one anti-curse thing. Usually I'll buy some just to have on me. So in case of this happening, but I, I was confident I wasn't going to get cursed by the regular enemies that do curse you. Uh, let's buy, let's buy some. Let's buy a few. Luckily we have like a million soul items. Purging stone. Yes, please. And he sells homeward bones, which is actually really nice too. Oh, you report, you can, I got indicted because you can report people. That's funny. Very well. Where be my purging stone? And you know what, for good measure, since we're here and I don't want to come back, let's uh, get a few more. And we'll buy Homer Bones. Thank you, my friend.
His left side tail. Oh, okay. We never sat at a uh, beautiful. We never sat down at a bonfire, so that was actually really convenient. Or we did sit at a bonfire. Uh oh, we never sat after we teleport. Well, whatever. Convenient. Uh, let's see. Run to attack his tail. Well, let's see. I do remember, like, I just have these weird, like, fleeting memories of, like, me memorizing this stuff from, like, back in the day. It used to be so second- this game used to be second nature. I'm hoping Dark Souls 2 will be pretty good, because I've recently replayed it. I didn't beat Dark Souls 2. I got far in it, because I was- just, I stopped to PvP a ton. I got pretty far though. Um, Dark Souls 3 I haven't played in a long time though, so that will also be kind of, I'll be lost. I know there's stuff we want to do. I might have to like prep myself to remember some of the side quests that we want to actually do in that game. I, I don't concern myself with the side quests for the most part in those games. It, like not on these kind of playthroughs on my, my first playthrough and stuff. Maybe I'll try to go for some of that stuff As of right now, I don't necessarily Care if I was to get some of those side quests done I want to get a big hat like big hat Logan's big hat. That's a good hat Dark Souls 3 is a ways away though I want to go over here yeah, we wanna we wanna run over to this greased area. We want to drop down. And then we want to I don't know if you wanna move here too first. I don't know if it I think we could I don't know if we could just run across here. Like, or uh, I'm gonna try to run across from here and see if that's okay. There we go. Look how nice that is. Now there's nice little images there. So people can be happy. Now, should I clear out this horde of clams? The answer is probably yes, but I, I think I, I'm remembering them now. I'm having a core memory unlock of running by the clams, running in here, Running behind his tail uh, to avoid the attacks. Do I have to kill that, whatever that is? Okay. It's like healing. I just realized I'm dying. I just didn't heal. Do I have to kill whatever? I just realized I was I was so focused on curse I would I didn't realize I was just dying. Alright, well let's figure this out. Do you have to wait what? I assume I have to go get that big old thing. Yeah, you can just break it. All right, fair enough. Let's go break the big old thing, then hide behind him. Do I have the curse bite ring? Nullify curse, no.
I think there's like armor and stuff you can get that helps with curse. But again, I don't think it should matter as long as we stand behind his tail area or something. We have to break the thing in the background. I think it stays broken if we break it. I don't I don't really remember. This isn't really a PvP moment right now. This is more just trying to remember how to play this game. Once I get out of Duke's Archive, it'll be more PvP focused. I mean, I could try to invade someone again, but I mean, I don't like it that I don't like invading in this area that much. All right, let's not go that way. All these areas are a lot smaller than I remember. Although I think what c happens is that an area like this, you die a million times. So you're like running through it on a first playthrough. But on the other stuff, I haven't been dying as much. So it's just been going by really quick because I don't have to try the boss a hundred times. So I don't have to run through the, the whole zone to get all the way to the boss. I wonder if there's an alternate way that you can go or if this is the way all right cool we're set up we're ready to go across here the first thing we're gonna do is immediately run over to try to break that thing uh, I'm gonna look up the which side do you go on? Okay. Run to his left side, my right. Your right. Okay, so his left, which is my right. Okay, so run to his left, which is my right. Okay. That would explain that. It said to, like, use a shield and run through, basically, but my shield's not that good. His left, your right. All right. Let's run. Run and hope we can kill this. All right, it's dead. I right, his left. Okay. This is his left side. Or wait. Yeah, this is his left side. I believe. I think I'm safe. Well, safer. Ouch. I still here? Okay, we're here. Oh my god. I might be on the wrong side. Cut off the tortigas. The sword, yeah. Sounds about right. Let's head back. Welcome to walking back to the boss for five minutes. The game. Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1 has a lot of gimmick bosses like this too. I mean, 2 does... Two does to an extent. It has like the Medusa thing, the Gorgon kind of fight, which is like partially a gimmick. Cause you have to like burn the torch and people don't know about that sometimes. Um, the Mirror Knight, I actually like the Mirror Knight boss, it's fun. There is some, uh, there's some gimmicks. But this game has a, 
Oh god, this game has uh, the bed of chaos or whatever. Eventually, I'm gonna have to fight, which is just the gimmick. It's just a hole that you can fall in and die. Ceaseless is a f as ceaseless is a real fight, but is also a gimmick. If you do the gimmick part, you can like run and then one shot it, which is the cool way of doing it for sure. I think I might have to block. For once in my life, I might have to actually block the boss and or like put on a shield or something to try to block it. Uh-oh. Do I have a good sh I have Havel's shield. What is the block rate on 100% uh, physical? Probably not dexterous enough to build that. Oh yeah, well I have to unequip it. Okay, well. That's a bro moment. Does Grass Crush Shield now 100% block physical? It was 95. Plus the stamina regen, whatever, it's probably fine. Swoop over here, swoop on back. Give him the old swoop, swoop to whoop, swoop back, swoop forward. Uh oh. Get stuck, walk into a wall. Get weirdly turned around. Get very, very turned around there. Okay, let's give this another shot. So I, I, the crystal might already be broken. The player's right. I gotta go on his left. So while he's facing me, the right will be his left. Okay. Is that crystal still active? Yes, it is. So I have to go re-break that. All right. Then go here. Try to break this tail. Please break. Break the tails with him. You smash me in the face. Oh my god. Oh no. No, 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 no. I was healing. Fun boss. Like, okay, at least I know what to do. Go there, shield better. I'll equip a real shield too. So I can use that when necessary. Just unfortunate. Let's go down here. And do the same thing. At least he's taking an okay amount of damage from my attacks. If that tail would break that would be extremely useful because I think it would make it easier to dodge his tail attack. Plus I get an item that I'll never use, but I'll get it, which will be nice. That is the thing though, like I, if I want to do like a run where I want to do a full run with that, like Ricard's Rapier or something like that, it's like, I mean, you could do New Game Plus, I guess, but a New Game Plus is not the same. I never really play these games in New Game Plus ever. I think maybe when I first played this game, I did New Game Plus for a little bit. But really only in Dark Souls 1. Do 
do, 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 do. Okay. There we go. And back down here. Give them the old whoop. And across. We'll keep on the grass shield until we fully sprint, break the crystal, and do all that nonsense. So we'll uh, avoid the clams to the best of our ability. We'll walk in here. Yeet our way around here. Try our best not to get hit. Okay. Break this, switch over to the real shield. Then try my best to get in range. And just block when he does that. Ow, oh god. Which is easier said than done. Uh, I guess I'm not standing in the right spot. I don't remember where I'm supposed to stand. All right, well, this is awful. I'm going to just invade people, I guess, for a bit to have a spark of joy from this experience. Yeah, I just need to know. In order to beat him, I just need to know uh, where to stand. And then I'll be good to go. Oh, I gotta be human. Let's do this. Ouch. Yeah, let's go invade some people. Okay. Try invading a far off land. Well, that was fast. We already found someone right away. Now, where are they, though? All right, they're down there. Dos Equis, the beer. Ah, uh, yes. Let's take that slight L damage. We'll take the damage. Yeah, okay, that was good. We actually found them. That's a big weapon. Anyway, let's pick up. He died in two hits. Man's running around with the biggest weapon I've seen ever. I don't even know what that is. Is that like the Grave, Grave Lord sword or something? I actually don't recognize that. And then I just hit him. That's what it feels like when I get hit by Seath and just die. From curse. Oh, there's a, there is a big hat in this game? I didn't know there was a big hat. I know big hat. It's not as big as big hat Logan's big hat, which is my aesthetic. 100% Man, uh, Seath We'll chill here while we, uh, pick People while I look at a, uh Sith video real quick I can watch someone do the thing Okay, so you run in Break the thing or whatever. Is this person doing like ranged, like a ranged build? Okay, whatever. You run in and you get behind them. Kind of. Okay, I don't know what the hell they're doing in this. <laughs> I don't know what the hell.
All right. Hopefully we find someone. While we were looking, I'm going to look at the video. So you break that and you go hit him in the tail. Do you have to go at the tip of the tail? Oh, you want to be on the inside, not the... Oh, you want to be on the outside, not on the inside. Okay. I now understand. You want to be on the... I was on the going on the in, inner bit. You want to be on the outer bit. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense, and hopefully that will be translated into a dub instead of a not dub in fact i am gonna go walk toward the boss fight if i find someone then we'll fight him if i do not find someone then uh oh well we got invasion canceled anyway let's invade let's reinvade oh i get. i guess we'll have to reinvade in here I wonder if you invade, if you can invade in that one room right there. Well, anyway, we'll invade people who are also trying to do this boss. Even with another player, it wouldn't help you on this. It's just, uh, you have to know the, know the strat, I guess. Let's get this bread. Let us get this lettuce. And by lettuce, I mean this bread. And by bread, I mean money. And by money, I mean lettuce. Let's go. Give us this day or daily get this bread. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know about this. I feel a lot more confident in my attempt here um, than before. And uh, it should be good. And, uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, just, we'll try one more time. And we'll call it a day if we fail or win either way. And then I might come back for some more, um, just the PvP stuff. Let me cancel this invasion. Because now we're, we're close enough that it's like, okay, well, I want to actually try to attempt this. So we run in and we want to run on the inside. Instead of the inside tail, we don't need the tail break. So, oh God. Try this again. Run in here and we're gonna hug the outer right part and hopefully he doesn't just murder us. So run over here. Grab this. Run over here. Oh God. And then just go here. Now, I hope this is correct. Cause that, that tail attack he was doing was very annoying and this seems like, this seems like what I want to be doing. Okay. No, go away crystals. Yeah, this, this feels like the, the way that I would want it to do this. Instead of going behind him. I mean, you can get the tail. That tail is, that is a rough one to get. I don't know what you, what weapon or whatever that is. No, 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 no. Okay. It was going well. It was going well. Let's wait for this to wear off because it sucks.
There we go. That was extremely rude of him to do that. There we go. Okay, this boss wasn't hard. After all, it was just you needed to know what to do and I did not. And it was not ideal. But luckily, we beat it. And there's a bonfire here, very conveniently. And with that, I will uh, opt into leveling up my health to like 30 at least. And I will call it a day for now. So thank you for tuning in. Next time.